paradigm shift. An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's, it's an, an idea. idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. The genuine expression. The soul. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, two egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be you to the fullest. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dave Kelso. Guess what? Going on a nature walk. Too bad I couldn't talk to you. Here with Kaylee and Kyle. And Sophie. I made a reply to, to you on my Facebook timeline, by the way. I don't know if uh, you had seen it because I kept getting interrupted virtually nonstop while I was trying to type it. No, I haven't read it yet. <clears throat> my reply was, thanks. Kristen would have replied sooner, but been bombarded with everything from everywhere today. Seems like I can't type a sentence without interruption from someone or something today, LOL. Thank you also for being one of my best friends as well, Hart. No human is perfect, but you have been tolerant, wise, understanding, and loyal. More so than most people, because let's face it, most of us have no clue what that really is or how to be that until we experience it. And then it's like, whoa, and perception of reality begins to change and the silver lining on the dark cloud can be seen. So thank you for being one of those new types of friends that makes it evidence that a be better world is in the works. It's just not getting here as fast as we'd like. Wow. Very interesting stuff. That was my reply. I like that. I think that's why some people love following my Facebook and other people just hate it because, like, so many people are just so into irrelevant one-liner bullshit and not, yeah, not yeah. actually saying anything. Like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, there's probably my friends friends on my friends list that read that and were like oh my god this guy takes everything and he makes it something bigger he takes everything and makes it about society or takes everything and makes it into a turn for him to talk on his soapbox about his opinion on something and it's like this dude does not have any chill in him like this dude doesn't um he doesn't know how to not take something seriously i know that's what people think well, when they read when they read things like that out of context, sure. Right, but they don't know you. Yeah, and of course, all of my silly fun stuff is equally just as out there, but they're not going to see anything they don't look for. <laughs> right. And you know what? I'd rather have someone like you that. You know what I would tell them? I would I would say I would say that's actually quite interesting. Because that's my view of them. So terrified of society that they 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 got their head in the sand about any, anything that's that's going on. They're not lightened up. Everything is is so serious, and they're in such a protective bubble, emotional bubble wrap cage prison that they've put themselves in from being in such fear that they don't know how to have any discussion. They think that they think that typing one one line of of irrelevant nonsense is a discussion. They think that going through twenty five topics in in ten minutes is discussion. I think yeah. that's being a monkey jumping through hoops because you're ordered to and i think it's ridiculous so uh, and i think yes. that, and I, I think that that is what being not chill is that is what i think taking everything so seriously is about you take everything so seriously that you're viewing me as taking everything so seriously you can't help but view everybody taking everything so seriously because you take things that seriously yeah. if, if it isn't a one-line sentence about tee squirrel then it's too serious for <laughs> 
because yeah. you're in a, you're wrapped in emotional bubble wrap wrap because you're so seriously fucking terrified of society that you don't want to know that it's messed up. You don't want to know about how because you don't deem yourself qualified to assist with solutions within this world. And on uh, and on top of that, that's even if you believe solutions were possible. But because you're such an eternal pessimist, you don't. Yeah. So you'd rather hide in one line of relevant shit than actually be a human and feel shit and live. Yes. That's Fuck. what you say. Same. Fuck. Yes. What you just said was magic. Like, let me just say something. They get triggered when you say stuff like that because, one, it doesn't fit to their one-liner box. But it's like, there you are, not only saying that you believe in solutions and you believe in communicating clearly, which they don't, they have reservations about, they might have such justification of, this is why solutions don't exist, this is why we're going to fail, here you are not having that, but not only that, you are saying that you yourself are qualified because you exist and are a human, and that you don't need any other qualifications other than the fact that you care to talk about these things. It's like, exactly. someone else could say the exact same thing you said, they would agree with it, but since it's coming from you... And that you don't have the qualifications, it's like it falls on deaf ears yeah. and it triggers the fuck out of them. Yeah, and it's because just, it because it's because on you. because I'm not a best-selling author that's been dead for 200 years. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say things like that. Yeah, or you're not a best-selling author nowadays, like. Yeah. Well, even it's getting to the point that even best-selling authors nowadays and and any other people that you know people put on a on a pedestal of authority, nowadays people are getting so so freaking triggered that even those people, if those people take one little misstep out of line of of expectations, then all of a sudden the people that they used to revere as as an authority now they're saying oh fake news or oh conspiracy theory or oh they're Pollyanna and stupid or they're not realistic, or, or oh, they used uh, a, a pronoun assu- to assume that gender actually exists, and that's insulting and misogynistic and blah blah and certain big round of shit here. So ooh, they're they're terrible, and now I can't see them as an authority anymore because they're just such a horrible person now. So it's like even the so-called authority figures say one one little tiny thing out of line of the expectations of the people that put them on the pedestal. They totally lose the favor of their audience into second slam. Well, and it's like, yeah, and what's dumb is they don't realize that maybe they shouldn't have had such high expectations of their idea of perfection. Why are they putting these people on pedestals? If they didn't necessarily ask that. I mean, maybe some of them did, mm-hmm. but not everyone does. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying, you know, like, just period, you know, regard, regardless of what the context is, like, you know, people have expectations, they put people up on pedestals of authority, and, you know, that in and of itself has been, you know, bad enough for all of known human history, but now people yeah. are so triggered and so stressed out that they're at the point that even when one of those authority figures makes one slight little tiny deviation away from away from expectations... Um, you know, that the person's like, oh, oh, well, they're terrible now. It doesn't matter if you're talking about, you know, someone in a local high school, the head of a clique or something. It doesn't matter if you're talking about a politician or a movie star. It doesn't, it doesn't matter who, who you're talking about, what title or what the, any of that is. Like, what, you know, they, people put them on a pedestal of expectation and one slight little deviation. And, you know, the, the, the authority figure that they were saying was all the rave last week now all of a sudden is just a horrible, crazy traitor the next week and it is it, it, you know adult uh, adult has become a state of extended adolescence essentially yeah i love you i love you too and i'm really glad that that you think all of this is quite magical because um well you're in a pre-recorded tsec episode if you want this to be Okay. <laughs> I, I, you know, this is a this is a private conversation between you and me, so I can't share it without without permission. But, um, you can share it. I would so rather you share it than not share it. Good, 